I'm talking with Paul Mahalam here of Atlanta here to play the Future Stars, a, a place you've been, Paul. And just, can you can you talk about some of these Future Stars and kind of how future, bright the future is for Atlanta? A lot of good talent out there for you guys. Uh, you know, definitely. Obviously, going through spring with, with most of them. Um, you know, a lot of guys in the staff that throw hard. Um, you know, they're going to you know, have their bumps and bruises, but they're going to make their way and uh, go through the minor leagues and, and eventually contribute to the big league team. Mm-hmm. What's your, your shaping up like, of course, of a full year here now? What do you expect of yourself this year? Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to, to obviously being around for a full year to, you know, stay healthy, make my starts, and go deep in the game. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, do everything I can for the, for the team to win. What was last year like coming into Atlanta? What was your experience like there last year? Uh, it was cool. Obviously, going from a team that, you know, they ended up losing 100. You know, I love my time in Chicago. Um, but, you know, coming to Atlanta, the team I grew up playing for, mm. getting the final team that won 94 games, you know, getting in the one game playoffs, but mm. still just being around the winning atmosphere and the fans. Yeah, the way last year ended, you kind of touched on it, the way, way it ended, that left kind of a bad taste in everybody's mouth. What was that like in the clubhouse? Um, yeah, I think whatever you it's, it's playoff time, it ends one game, everybody's just kind of in shock. Um, you know, obviously, we didn't play for a great game, um, but, you know, everybody came in spring, and, and obviously we got some new faces, and two guys are gone, but uh, you know, everybody here has got one goal, and that's to win. The last couple of years, or decades, you know, the Braves have won a lot of games, obviously, and people talk about kind of the clubhouse culture and everything. What did you, you talk about going from a 100-loss club to a 95-win club, what have you kind of learned in your time here? What's it, the, the approach here, I guess? I, I mean, you know, overall in the clubhouse, the guys are, you know, felt like one of the team as soon as you got there. Um, you know, very welcoming, picks each other up, everybody has the same goal in mind and that's the way and uh, play the game the right way. You know, with Chipper gone and everything, there's a little bit of transition in the leadership. I mean, who would... How's that gone? I know. Uh, I mean, obviously we're early, but, uh, you know, we've got a lot of guys that, uh, you know, they're everyday guys that are going to speak up when it needs to be done. But, uh, you know, we got a lot of guys that are going to go out there and, and, and set an example in the field um, of, of how to play, how to prepare, and how to, how to do their stuff in the games. And, um, you know, that goes, that goes a long way.